An excerpt from Cross Purposes. The Israeli Ministry of National Infrastructures examined the box and found nothing to distract from its authenticity. Scanning electron microscope, electron dispersion spectrometer, chalks verified to be from the Menu formation of the Mount Scopus group. It seems solid scientific evidence of the existence of the brother of Jesus the Messiah. Even the letters are of a kind used in the last decades preceding the destruction of Jerusalem by the Roman army in 70 AD. Belatedly, an Israeli government authority released a report that the patina that guaranteed the integrity of the carving had been disturbed. Perhaps the inscribing was of a post-period origin, a forgery then, or the real thing. The satrap fellow has had too many reflective ideas lately. It could deleteriously contaminate the drones. We can't allow the drones or Terminator shepherds to get philosophical tendencies or even religion. The savior of lost souls. It's bad for business. Satrap's path leads across the valley to Mustang Susie each day. The prey will appear on schedule. Exactly, Ebenezer. That's just what I was thinking, the Argus responded. Ebenezer grunted, then gently squeezed the trigger on a Mark Welk IV electronic rifle. Three miles away on the plain, a small red entry wound blossomed into a red vapor cloud detaching solid meat from the target. The bullet, in completing its transverse intrachest journey, exited slightly lower than it had entered and hit the ground at last, as did Satrap. With his heart obliterated, the fine monopole photon collector suit detected no intrinsic sparks of life in the wearer and switched off. Good shot, Ebby! He's a trophy! We're beyond good and evil, Adargus. Scientific pluralism means that morality is subject to my definition. What is right for global corporate is right. The drone ethos is an inferior moral structure. Tested in the democratic pluralist melting pot of competition, it fails. While collective dictatorship works. Voila. Let's collect Satrap while he's still warm and best for the taxidermy squad, Ebenezer said as he kicked their levicle into motion. Sure, of course, boss. Tell me, though, do you think of me as a woman of mass destruction? Adarius queried. The exit wound left a gaping hole with part of two ribs exploded out and shards of flesh splattered with entrails littering the land. Satrap's slithering sojourn to Mustang Susie had ended abruptly. In the midst of the valley, he seemed from afar a lazy shirker unconcerned about proper work lying indignantly upon the meadow grass. Dig in a shallow grave, Adarius. He won't do for a trophy after all, Ebenezer directed. Tossing aside her clothing and flinging herself at her jet cleaning task, when in a trenched tool field chair, she had a seven foot by four by three grave hole dug into the rich dark soil of the top, the sun reaching higher into its azure ball, vast her leg and arm muscles with warmth and glistening sheen emerged from her sweaty nakedness. Adrigus then drugged the corpse and wounded Satrap into the hole by the boots. The head dropped finally in place with a bare crack bouncing on the dirt. She walked over the late Satrap, stepping on his face to up and out. With recovery of her attire, she holocaust a small last rite, then began the malodorous task of filling in the grave. He left a new scar on the gentle valley landscape. Ebenezer produced a bottle of a chilled corporate mint julep for his relief. Every action in the universe must have a preceding action or cause sufficient to continue and create the new action. The universe itself is thought to have originated by some physical theorists as a cluster of dimensions coinciding from what appears to us to be a point in time, perhaps 13.7 billion years ago. The rising of the universe one might be likened unto a rising wind of which no one can be certain of the specific original source, though many theories might be consistent with the consequent faith in the Creator, perhaps direct faith without necessity of a concise cosmological account of the physical and technical methods involved that could encounter ideological difficulties with God as non-contingent being at some point anyway, may obviate the need for temporal, non-biblical, structural explanations. In its primary phase of arrival, in full strength, at a particular place, it has simply become a fact. Stars born in formative coalescent clusters when clouds or particles condense in gravity fields or when galaxies collide may give rise to quasars or large galactic objects producing more light than thousands of suns. Star formation has a higher order analog than black hole formation. The gravitational power that brings microparticle clouds to a point to form a fusion of condensed mass also draws stars together to form a sphere of mass gravity 
so intense that it cannot emit radiation except for Hawking radiation produced by quantum uncertainty leaking beyond the event horizon. 